Yo, nerd, get over here. Oh. Welcome, or welcome back if you are returning. My name is Burr, and if you are a fan of MMOs, uh, RPGs, JRPGs, obscure art, obscure video games, then you should subscribe because that is what we do here. Also, if you don't mind giving me a like, that would really help with the algorithm. And yeah, I super appreciate it. So today we are continuing Final Fantasy XIV. Hello everyone, how are you? Alright, let's do it. Yeah, I like to change it up sometimes, you know? Oh, it's so cute. I want one of those for... No, right. For reals! Eyeball zap. He's not happy. He's not a happy dragon. <laughs> Wicked mortals. I shall melt your flesh and turn your bones to ash. He's not happy at all. I know, right? <laughs> Go figure. <sighs> yes, that's what I was thinking too, Lee. Question is both is to make my bread. I like not the sound of that thunder. Yeah, me anytime there's a thunderstorm. Oh. Alright, we're gonna fight this big, big boss guy. Wish me luck. Well, that's good. Oh, shoot. Okay, good. I suggest been you two be a weird on your head. Oh shoot. <laughs> Dragon. Good to a wire. <laughs> Why? It could be oh. Is I supposed to fall down here? I guess so. I'm so used to being afraid of falling that I didn't... What? Terrible guy is before you. Oh. I blame that. Because why not? <laughs> A terrible dragon appears before you. Terrible.
Canada is always... You just always hate Canada. Aha! These spider webs are like... I don't know. I'm like, did these come from the dragon? Or is this like skin? Is this like shed dragon skin? What is this? We're gonna just go for it. You know, there's a couple things we need to remember, but hopefully we'll do it. Oh, you're folly. He's so close to dead. Your guard is down. Ah! <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Jump me down again? Aha! Yes. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I was like, watch out! For way. Oh. I definitely thought it said his name was Nerd. Nerd Son. I was like, that's kind of mean, isn't it? Yo, Nerd! Get over here! Oh. Dire Sword. Seven hells. There's a seven hells. I haven't heard that in a while. Uh, this place is falling apart. Guys, you need to keep up on your renovations or... This is what happens. <laughs> the baby dragons. Good. Let's route them quickly or they overwhelm us. Are they dead? <laughs> Are they dead, boy? Dragons of blood, dragons of blood, dragons. Oh man, there he is. Okay, I'm nervous. boy. Sea dog. Now what's used my own eye against me? Oh yes. He's huge! We can't let that happen again. back if you just stop biting. Promise. Promise. <gasps> yes! Okay, good. We got him. 
I did afraid of no ghosts. Uh, there's no victory music, so that's not a good sign. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> like, what are you doing? Uh, GG, guys. GG. GG. The work here is not yet done. Yeah, he flew away, so I imagine we're gonna have to fight him somewhere. I wish I could give uh, Estidian a commendation. Be like, he's great. Thou wouldst use mine own eye against me, time hath done not to dilute thy kind's depravity. I have not forgotten thee, Dragoon. Thine essence claimed thee once, and shall do so again. No worm! This ends here! <laughs> oh, shit. Estidian's been waiting for this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is he red now? <laughs> He's a red ranger! <laughs> oh my gosh. You gifted my people a thousand years of suffering! Now I gift you an eternity in darkness. Great, now we have an angry blind dragon. Perfect. Crystal's back. It's a pretty one. Hola. Is 
there. They are ours, Lord Eldrath. The eyes of Nidhogg. Aye. <laughs> the worm lies broken and my father is avenged. With the wellspring of his vitality thus denied him, Nidhogg shall not linger long in this world. But behold the terrible price we have paid. My sire is dead. So many brother knights slain. We traded our honor for the strength which now courses in our veins. And still we are forced to make such sacrifice. But not in vain, my lord. Kreis Felger is the only great worm left in Dravania, and he dares not leave his lair. With Nidhogg's eyes in your possession, who now can challenge the might of Ishgard, ascend the throne, and take your rightful place as the ruler of our people? Ishgard is so backwards. <laughs> I don't like that we helped them very much. <laughs> Nay, my friend. I must forsake the mantle of king. Though Nidhogg be defeated, his wormling horde yet darkens the skies with wings beyond counting. As one who partook of Ratatoska's strength, it shall be my penance to bear a knight's arms until death grants me leave to retire. When that day comes, no prince shall perish, but a hell's bound hunter of dragons. That's it, sexy, you're banned. <laughs> No one calls me backwards and gets away with it. <laughs> but Lord Haldreth, what then shall become of the royal line? Think of your people, my lord. Without a king, who will the common man turn to in his hour of need? How will he find his way without your benevolent hand to guide him? He got little horns. <laughs> I thank you, Sir Flavian and Sir Silvertrill, for dispelling my remaining doubts. With men of such wisdom and compassion in service to the realm, it is plain that Ishgard has no need of a king. But if you must bow to the demands of tradition, you need look no further than yourselves for one worthy to wear the crown. Gotta love those squirrel Debbie gods. <laughs> Fare thee well, my brother knights, my loyal friends. On these shoulders shall I bear the weight of my father's sins. With this lance shall I repay the debt accrued through our misdeeds. Cruel jest has fate played upon us. Have we seized this desperate victory only to lose a king? I keep saying the name Silvetrel and I just think of like Sylvester the cat. <laughs> we can but act as our lord has bid. We few who remain must divide between us the rulership of Ishgard and her people. Not I. My oath was to Lord Halrath, and he alone. The voice. <laughs> if he is not to be king, then I would hang up my shield as well. Boy, a brawny knight. <laughs> Will you abandon us too, sir? I would wash my hands of blood and betrayal, and take up an honest trade. Mayhap I shall serve ale instead of sharpened steel. I think he looks like he'd be better off with serving ale. I think it would suit him. He's got the look of a bartender with the interesting stories, like a uh, like a, a tavern keep. Not really a bartender. We 
before then? Flavian. Flavian. Fortan. Hylanat. Direndere. And Zemail. Zemail. But four houses to rule all of Ishgard. Uh, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, and Ravenclaw. And what of the throne? We keep it empty. Until the day a king rises once more, we must assume the role of stewards. Stewards? <laughs> we shall shape our nation anew with a history of our own making, and let the truth of this dark day die here, upon the battlefield. Yeah, if you're a nerd. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wish I had her power. To just be what able to you, see things. Are you wounded? <laughs> right? to history to the culmination of the first battle with Nidhogg the legend of Ishgard's founding tells that our ancestors were led to the land of Kurthus by the valiant King Thordon in the midst of their journey they came to a wide chasm where they were set upon by a great worm Nidhogg a furious battle then ensued with Thordon leading the van Though the brave king was slain defending his people, his son, Haldrath, the first Azure Dragoon, fought on undaunted. And with a mighty thrust of his lance, he gouged out Nidhogg's eye, forcing the wicked creature into retreat. Thus did this eldritch orb become a sacred treasure of Ishgard. Lending its power to every knight deemed worthy to a rousing tale, is it not? Would that I could still believe it. But your vision, which we must accept as immutable truth, leaves no room for doubt, save on one point. Seriously, they just keep passing it around like... Give the guy a break. Maybe the eyeball just wants to settle down and like... Have a home and just retire. <laughs> if Haldrath took both of Nidhogg's eyes, then how came this eye to be lodged in the worm's skull? I was wondering that. I was like, wait a second, there's like too many eyeballs happening here. Beneath every answer we unearth. Another question lies buried. Only two, I thought, but... <laughs> Who knows? It was a fierce battle, but one I knew we would win. Your fame is well-deserved, warrior of light. Full proud am I to have fought at your side. I would fain return with all swiftness to Ishgard to inform the Lord Commander of our triumph. But we must first have words with Hreisvelger. There are parts of this tale that the worm has kept from us, and I would know wherefore. Okay, good. I was hoping they would explain it. Do they explain why he's suddenly dressed in red armor? That was, like, is it blood? Because it painted it quite nicely. <laughs> Very even uh, blood spattering that happened. The Nidhogg is fallen. My heart is yet heavy. 
In this state of corruption pleases me not. When all has been put to rest, I must needs forge my armor anew. <gasps> oh, we get to ride the mana cutter? Ooh. Alright, that makes sense then. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me. If you liked this video, please like this video because that'll help gather more folks to the video of the channel. We are aiming for 1k, so we're almost there. Also, if you are new and you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, we have a Discord link that is very very fun that link will be in the description underneath this video and i also have all my other social media links and stuff that will be under there as well and also i do have a patreon if you're interested that link is below and that does help <laughs> get us uh to support the channel so i can be here and do more stuff with you guys all right from uh all of us to all of you Bye.